Hello everyone, today we are going back to the world border for the third time to take a look at this new glitch. This glitch involves placing blocks outside of the world border, just like in the video where I wrote the word hello using unbreakable blocks. However, instead of writing words, we are going to be flying through this guy at high speeds. I'll link that word writing video if you want to go watch it. This glitch allows you to sort of make elevators and escalators so you can quickly fly through the world, allowing you to get from one area to another incredibly quickly. This glitch was shown to me by Galactic. Thanks to him, this video is possible. If you know of any glitches or cool things like this, I would appreciate it if you would tell them to me via Discord so I can potentially make a video on it. There's a link to my Discord server in the description of this video, and you can find my Discord username under the About section of my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the glitch so you can start fast traveling throughout the survival mode world. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick a world border where you want to build this. You should keep in mind that you can't do this on every side of the world border. This only works in the sides where you can't stand in the area where you can't place blocks. Basically, this won't work at the zero world borders, but it will still work at the 765 ones. As you can see right here, I can't stand in this area where I can't place the blocks. So this one will work. I've added a pool of water in case I fall. This might be helpful for you. There's two types of this glitch, one that allows you to go vertically and one that allows you to go horizontally. We'll be using the vertical one first and the horizontal one second. The first thing you're going to want to do is know which side the world border pushes you to. So just walk into it. And as we can see here, this one pushes me towards the right. Keep this direction in mind as you start to build your tower up. You're going to want to place two blocks on the very edge like so. And then start to build upwards. You can build this to however tall you want it to be, even up to the build limit, but I'll just be keeping it here for demonstration purposes. Next, you're going to want to remember which side the world border pushed you to. Since it pushes to the right side, we're going to be placing a... Oh, that happened. All right. Well, we fell down because we, uh, <laughs> we went into the world border. Be careful of that happening. Now we're going to have to build us... Now we're going to have to build ourselves a tower back up. All right, we are back. Be careful not to lean over the edge because that will happen. All right, so we're going to be placing a row of blocks right here in the world border. So that way we can fly up this thing here using the world border's knockback properties. So because it was on the right side, we're going to be placing a block on the right. Then we're going to be placing a lava bucket right there on this block that's on the outside. And now we wait for it to flow down. While it's flowing down, we can work on another thing that we're going to need to do. And that thing is a net to catch us when we go flying, sort of. So we're going to place a few blocks here like so. And build it five blocks tall. I found that five blocks tall is pretty much a decent height. You won't go flying off of it the majority of the time. If you want to be safe, you can do six blocks. This is important so you just don't fall to your death. All right, we can see that the lava has hit the ground, so now we're going to take one of our water buckets and place them right here. And that'll start to turn that whole lava column into cobblestone, which is what we want. Now we can pick up our lava, pick up our water, and now we just have to wait until the lava fully flows down. So I'll be back when that happens. All right, the lava has fully flowed down, so now we can test our brand new elevator. Now what we want to do is we want to sort of walk into this little kind of crevice right there, that little corner, and that'll push us all the way up to the very top. Also, I'm going to be turning off chat right now so we don't have to hear the world border notification constantly. All right, here we go. And I missed. Okay, second try. There we go. And as you can see, we are just flying upwards. We get caught by our net, and we're here. And this can be done at an infinite length. So you could do this all the way up to 256, and it would still work. And you could just instantly travel to the very top of the world very quickly. Let's try it again. So we're just going to want to walk into here. 
as you can see, we are just flying up this pillar thing here. Very simple. Next, we're going to be building this again, but instead of taking us upwards, it will take us to the side. Now, unfortunately, we can only do this in one direction. Since the world border pushes us right, we can only go in the right direction. We won't be able to go the other way. The first thing you're going to want to do with the horizontal one is build the line of blocks from where you want it to start to where you want it to end. This can be done at any height, even on the ground, but it's easier to do it up higher because you won't run into mountains and trees and stuff like that. That way you can just do it in one continuous line. This can be done at pretty much any length, so you could technically do this from one end of the world to the other and travel from there to there, 765 blocks, almost instantly. The next thing we're going to want to do is make this line a few blocks taller. This is so when the server lags, we don't fall and die. Depending on how laggy the server that you're on is, you might want to build this taller. But for me, this server isn't that laggy, so I'm going to say four or maybe five blocks should be fine. You could probably do it with less than five, but I'm going to keep it at five just to be safe. The next thing we're going to want to do is cast a line of blocks adjacent to this top row of blocks. And that will allow us to fly through the air incredibly quickly. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is place a water source one block to the right of the block where you're trying to place your stuff. So we're going to place it here. And then we're going to take our lava bucket and place it there. And that will flow over there and turn out the stone. Then we can pick up this water, place it here, place the lava. Turns that to stone. And we can keep on going like this until we finish the whole path. I'm going to time lapse the rest of this because this does take a fair bit of time. I sort of messed up here. Make sure you pick up your lava as soon as you place it, or, or as soon as the stone gets created. That way, that way this doesn't happen where you have random stone in the air that you won't be able to break because it's outside the world border. So make sure you pick it up quickly. All right, so we have finished our escalator. Now we have to wait for the... Uh, actually, we don't have to wait for the water to flow down. It should still work. I did mess it up partially by not placing the lava or picking up the lava fast enough, and I'll show you what I mean right now. I did end up placing a block on accident with the lava cast right there, so we won't be able to use this first part of it. So what, is, so what I ended up doing was skipping this gap here, so instead we can just jump into that hole right there right beneath me, and so we can still use it normally, just not the first part. Don't do what I did. This is a lesson on what not to do. Make sure you pick up your lava fast enough. Otherwise, you may have to redo the whole thing. Thankfully, I did it towards the start, and it wasn't that big of a deal. But be careful. All right, it's time to test this thing out. I've dug this hole here where I made the error. That way, I can just easily jump into the thing, and it'll just push us forward instead of having to fall through that hole. That was tricky. All right, and let's see how this works. Now, as you can see, we are literally just flying, flying through the map right now. And we're going to try an MLG water bucket. And we missed. Okay. Now that we know where the fall point is, this leads to the next step. Making a pool of water. That way we don't die every time we come down. Or just build it closer to the ground. They both work. All right, so I've placed some water down here. This should catch our fall. So we won't be dying anymore. Let's go try it again. And here we are at the elevator. Let's just jump in here. And just fly. And we should get pushed into the water. Very nice. Perfect. You can do some pretty cool things with these escalators slash elevators. Their only limitation is that you can only build them on certain world borders. But besides that... This is a pretty cool glitch. Well, that concludes this video. The world border just seems to be full of glitches. You can let me know how you plan to use this glitch in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. 
And if you discover a glitch or something cool like this, I would love to hear about it on Discord. I would like to thank Galactic once more for showing me this, and thank you for watching.